Oh, look what they just did to Lucky Street. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum, or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. doctor's appointment today because I finally found uh, somebody to help me uh, sign off on my uh, reduced fare for the MARTA program. I had uh, tried to go back to the psychologist that did my evaluation a couple years ago, but because it was a really, really, really awkward situation and on so many levels, that situation didn't really pan out and uh, basically I burned a lot of bridges because of some of the actions I took. Long story short, I uh, went into a situation with a very, very uh, naive mindset and also m making a lot of assumptions, jumping to conclusions that there was money available for me to do the psychological evaluation. And I went through a nonprofit organization a couple years ago uh, of a woman that I know that has a son with autism. And she, we both discussed it that she would help pay, me, pay it off and all that. And I assumed that the money was there, so I just went ahead and did the evaluation and the intake interview and all that so that I could also qualify for uh, Marta's Paris paratransit system that time. Well, sure enough, there's a big uh, lack of communication between uh, the director of this nonprofit organization that was supposed to be providing the funding between myself and the psychologist. And I just basically got stuck with this great big bill for a long time. I mean, I was also growing very concerned and I confronted the lady working at uh, this organization because, it's, I, because I had other bills to pay in addition to uh, saving up to finishing my education at Georgia State University. And it was like she didn't get it. She went into all these uh, little uh, avenues about uh, how uh, she and her daughter who are running this organization have all these internal issues and they couldn't help me so they basically just dropped the ball and they talked about since 2008 nonprofits like hers had been uh, struggling and because of that a lot of organizations were able, able to provide one scholarship and that they were doing the best that they could and that they would help me as the money came available and that still stood but I just felt like uh, communicating with her was like uh, putting a wall up. And then uh, I dealt with uh, a big mess with the psychologist. I don't really care to get into it. But I, as I said, I burned my bridges with her as well because there was just a lot of uh, 
a poor communication and misunderstandings and uh, it was just uh, she was very expensive and uh, I just I caught her doing some things that uh, I did not like I'm not gonna go into it but I basically uh, gave her a bad review I gave them a bad review because I didn't like what they were doing and because my documents are uh, on file with them that I worked with them that they wrote that report I attempted to go back and just get a few signatures and a few other things done and unfortunately in the middle of that uh, the psychologist decided to uh, call me out uh, by attacking me via email rather than pulling me into the office uh, wanting to get a better idea of what my situation was and uh, instead she just wrote me up and yelled at me and I decided at that point hey if you're gonna make me feel bad and if you're going to sit there and kvetch which is the Yiddish uh, the Yiddish term for complain because uh, because you, you have nothing else better to do, then I'm just gonna go elsewhere. So I had been talking to a therapist last year at uh, right here at campus at Georgia State University. And because they closed my case, they were not able to help me because uh, the woman that was uh, counseling me, or she's a, cl a clinician in training, in addition to working on her PhD right now, or at least her uh, her masters in counseling. So I just uh, they dropped me because uh, she's so new and had a lot of other extra training she needed to do. And so they they looked at referring me elsewhere, and then I I called around, did some research, and I called the uh, the clinic here on campus, and I also contacted the. Uh, the wellness center on campus as well for uh, faculty, staff, and other types of employees that work here at Georgia State University. So nevertheless, here I am. I'm about to get my first physical in a while. Uh, absolutely hate the finger prick. But anyway, if you're out of time, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please be sh do not hesitate to leave any questions or comments. Until next time, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I'm signing off. Bye. Well, guess what? I got it! Uh, yeah, all I have to do now is um, wait till tomorrow, which is payday, and B, um, wait till uh, Friday night anyway because uh, my seven day pass that I've been purchasing for $23.75 uh, which is full fare price for the last month to expire then I can uh, put $34 on here for the rest you know every month until I can qualify for uh, paratransit so I should be good